Let's begin the broadcast tonight with fresh clashes witnessed on the border of Nkararo and Enoritet in Transmara. An unknown number of people sustained serious injuries after houses and farmlands were torched. This is the latest incident of conflict that has persisted since Sunday between two warring clans. Here's Victoria Rubadiri with more. For a third day running, Tension continues to escalate along the border of Enoretet and Nkararo in Transmara West. This is the situation. Burnt homes and decimated farmland. Hundreds of youth from the Isidian community facing off with their counterparts from Irwa Shinkishu. This fight is one that predates these young men. A fight that began in the 1970s and has persisted ever since, claiming countless lives and destruction of property. The land, evidence of the long-standing conflict. According to sources in Transmara, more than 25 acres of sugarcane plantations have so far been torched since the beginning of June. This field in Nkararo area serves as a safe haven for those who found themselves in the crosshairs of the two warring sides. According to the OCPD of Transmara, Jamlek Ngaruya, more than five houses were burnt down today and fields spanning an unknown number of hectares were also destroyed. These primary school children don't know when their studies will come back to normalcy. Security officers from the GSU have had a hard time pacifying the militants who keep springing up many of them using the sugarcane fields as hideouts before they launch raids. The Narok County Commissioner was expected to visit Transmara this evening to assess the situation. The new fighting comes just a day after a security meeting was organized in Kilgoris. Victoria Rubadiri, Citizen TV. Oh,